Good day and uh, welcome to Brutlosophy. If you haven't been here before, my name is Tech. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on here in Perth in Western Australia, the Wajit people. Now, this is a box from, obviously, Thursday Boots, although today is Tuesday as I'm filming. Uh, it took about two weeks to come to me, so uh, that's actually pretty good. Um, and maybe post-COVID, things are coming back to normal, coming from the US. Um, this is a pair of Thursday's new wish boot called the Hero. And it actually, um, when first coming on their website, was called the Titan. So I assume there was some sort of uh, name copyright dispute and they had to change the name of it. Um, but it comes in, a, in a, the usual Thursday black box. So let's get it open. So let's get it out of the cardboard uh, shipping box and take a look at uh, what's inside. There's the usual shipping notice. Right, um, I've got it facing you, so it looks good, but um, this might be a bit awkward for me. We shall see. Thursday's black tissue paper, which is always excellent. Thursday don't provide boot bags, but they come protected in uh, plastic bags. Let's get this one out. And uh, inside the boot, they also include some uh, paper stiffeners so that the boots don't get crushed on their way to you. Um, the smell is <laughs> really nice when you open the box. Lovely leather smell. Now these, as I said, are um, the Hero boots from Thursday. Uh, reasonably new addition to their lineup. I'll just get rid of the box. Uh, this version is in their wax cacao leather, uh, cacao, cocoa, with a um, honey mini, uh, a honey lugged sole. Um, and this is Thursday's proprietary commando sole. Uh, let's take one boot at a time. The uppers, being this uh, waxed uh, cacao, is actually a rough out. And you can actually see it's a, it's a sort of smooth leather on the inside. That's not lining. That's the grain side of the leather. Uh, the outside is a rough out that has a very heavy wax application on it in a dark brown. And I expect that as that wax wears off and patinas, you're going to start seeing this color start to come through. First impressions of the uh, wax cacao or wax flesh is that the wax application is really thick and actually feels smooth. And if you uh, don't look at it uh, carefully enough, you'd think this was probably um, top grain full grain uh, on top, but it is rough out. You can actually see a crinkly effect in the light and which will uh, gradually wear down and patina. It's good you welted. There is a storm welt in place. Uh, I'm assuming that's leather because it does look like leather. Um, and then the, a leather midsole and then the rubber uh, commando lugged sole. The stitching of this boot, as I look at it, is pretty good. The stitch density is as good as you would expect from uh, a boot in this sort of price range. Nothing wrong with it that I can see whatsoever. There are no sort of frayed ends sticking out. And the stitch density and the... Uh, Positioning of the stitching is very consistent and clean. Absolutely quite clean. Um, slightly contrasting in the lighter brown against the dark brown. There is a pull loop made of uh, uh, textile. And the laces are nylon, taslon laces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight nickel plated eyelets, no speed hooks. I'm not bothered whether uh, there are speed hooks or not. You know, it, if, if it takes you an extra four seconds, it takes you an extra four seconds. <laughs> uh, very clean. Other boot, just as clean. As you can see, the uppers sort of quite match. There isn't sort of a crinkly one here and a, a clean one there. So the clicking on this 
is reasonably good. Again, the stitching, very clean, very consistent, no problems at all. Uh, I notice that the, the tongue is ungusseted, uh, which for me sometimes is a problem, particularly on my right foot where the tongue uh, can slip to one side. So I may get out a chisel and punch a couple of slits through to put the uh, laces through. All right, so let's get these on feet and then uh, we'll talk about what I think of them. Okay, so I'll just get them on feet. The pull tab is actually very useful. Uh, I'm wearing thick socks today and with them, uh, it actually feels very, very nicely um, last it as I put them in. It's a little snug, but you'd expect that with a new pair of boots with um, the leather being cold. Uh, the laces are quite nice and really um, uh, easy to, to cinch up. Laces are quite long. Um, I'd normally do a double knot, but not for now. Um, I'm noticing as I'm cinching up the laces that the eyelets are nicely backed so you don't have um, an abrasive surface at the back. Feels quite good on foot. As I say, it is a bit snug. Um, I have been used to slightly wider lasts recently. So returning to dressy, uh, dressier lasted Thursday boots is a little different. This is a size eight. Um, I took the usual half down from my Brannock size and it works quite well. Um, feels fine. The soles are stiff because I, you know, I, I think this uh, uh, leather midsole and then there's the cork and pour on insole and the welt makes it all quite stiff. I imagine as I wear these, I, I'm not sure a break in is required, but as, as I wear these, I think uh, things will loosen up. It feels good. Okay, let's wrap up. Um, so there you go on feet. Uh, the, the last, I don't know the name of this last, but it's certainly a lot more uh, rounded in the toe box than the, the original Captain last, um, which I quite like, but I do find could be quite snug to start with uh, at the ball. Uh, as I said in the try-on, these fit quite well, uh, feel quite comfortable. Um, the the uh, midsole uh, welt and the rubber sole do make these fairly stiff in the sole construction. So I think there will be a little bit of uh, break in uh, and I will feel a little heel slip in, in the uh, initial uh, break in period. But, you know, hopefully that's not going to take too long and it will get accustomed to where I, I flex my foot and it will flex in the right places. Uh, my first impressions, my initial impressions. I think this is a really well-built boot. I honestly can't see anything wrong with it. Um, it's good you're welted, so that's the value for you. Uh, it has, it, it has that, that well-known Thursday foam and pour-on uh, um, insole, midsole sort of combination, you know, which I don't mind. I mean, it, it's an instant comfort underfoot and you don't feel like you have to, to struggle with your boot for the first couple of weeks before it really starts to feel comfortable. In the long run, yeah, maybe it might break down, but you know, I don't know, in the long run, how long is that? Uh, uh, in terms of the materials used, I'm very impressed by this, this wax flesh. It, I think it's going to patina really well. It, it certainly feels like it's going to wear well. It's comfortable around my foot. Uh, it's not hard or harsh at all. Uh, it feels really well finished. So I'm really impressed, particularly at this price range. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll be very pleased to 
keep wearing these, break these in, and then bring them back to you in a few months' time to see um, what I think of them. The difficulty when I keep saying I'll bring them back to you in a few months' time is that with my huge rotation of boots, I just don't know how many times I'd have worn these, uh, but I'd be interested to keep count, so we'll have a look. Uh, so that's it. In summary, uh, I think fantastic for what you uh, pay for. Uh, everything looks well put together. Uh, if there's any con, it, it may be that maybe it's a little light uh, in the sense that it's not a real work boot. It's obviously not a real uh, Pacific Northwest work boot uh, that you can use and abuse and will get better with time. Uh, however, for casual wear and even light work wear, I think this is going to be perfectly fine. Uh, you'll find this hard to beat at this price range for this uh, set of materials and this construction quality. So there you go. Uh, tell me what you think in the uh, uh, comments below. And don't forget, if you like this video, click on like. And of course, if you're not subscribed, I don't even know why, click on subscribe and make sure that uh, we're in tune with uh, the new videos that I bring out every week. So take care. Until next time, I'll see you soon.